Woolly mammoths have been extinct for about 10,000 years, but as Dr. Ian McCallum warns, life finds a way. Mammoths are back. Dive into the frozen world of prehistoric animals preserved in ice for thousands of years. These creatures, which once roamed the Earth, provide a unique window into the past. Explore the top 10 prehistoric animals frozen in ice and unravel the mysteries that surround their existence. Number 1. Woolly Mammoth The woolly mammoth, Mammothus primigenius, is perhaps the most iconic and well-known prehistoric animal frozen in ice. These majestic beasts roamed the cold, harsh environments of the Northern Hemisphere during the last Ice Age, around 4.8 million to 4,000 years ago. Their remains are often discovered in the permafrost regions of Siberia and North America, providing valuable information about their biology, behavior, and the environment they inhabited. Woolly mammoths were massive creatures, reaching up to 11.2 feet, 3.4 meters, tall at the shoulder and weighing approximately 6 tons, 5.4 metric tons. Their impressive size was essential for survival in the frigid environments they called home. The woolly mammoth was covered in a thick coat of fur, which could grow up to 35 inches, 90 centimeters long, to provide insulation against the cold. Additionally, a layer of fat beneath their skin offered an extra layer of protection against the elements. One of the most distinctive features of the woolly mammoth was its massive curved tusks. These tusks, which could grow up to 16 feet, 4.9 meters long, were used for a variety of purposes. They served as tools for breaking ice and scraping snow to access the vegetation underneath, as well as weapons for self-defense against predators, such as saber-toothed cats and humans. The tusks were also employed in social interactions, with males using them to fight for dominance and mating rights. Scientists have recovered numerous woolly mammoth remains, some of which are remarkably well-preserved due to the cold conditions. One of the most famous specimens is Liuba, a one-month-old baby woolly mammoth discovered in 2007 in Siberia. Liuba's remains were so well-preserved that researchers could still see the contents of her last meal in her stomach. These findings have provided scientists with valuable information on the woolly mammoth's diet, which primarily consisted of grasses, sedges, and other herbaceous plants. Another fascinating discovery is that of a woolly mammoth carcass found in 2013, with liquid blood still present in its veins. This discovery sparked renewed interest in the possibility of cloning or resurrecting the extinct species using its preserved DNA. While this idea is still a subject of ongoing debate and research, it raises intriguing questions about the potential implications of bringing an extinct species back to life. The extinction of the woolly mammoth is believed to have been caused by a combination of factors, including climate change, habitat loss, and overhunting by humans. As the ice sheets receded at the end of the last ice age, the grasslands that the woolly mammoths relied on for sustenance gradually disappeared, making it difficult for the species to survive. Additionally, humans hunted the mammoths for their meat, hide, bones, and tusks, further contributing to their decline. The woolly mammoth remains a symbol of the Earth's prehistoric past, a time when colossal beasts roamed the frozen landscapes of the Ice Age. The discovery of frozen specimens continues to offer invaluable insights into the biology, behavior, and extinction of these magnificent creatures. Number 2. Yucca Bison The Yucca Bison, also known as the Steppe Bison, Bison Priscus, is another notable prehistoric animal discovered frozen in ice. These massive herbivores thrived during the Pleistocene epoch and inhabited vast areas of the Northern Hemisphere, including Europe, Asia, and North America. The Yucca Bison's frozen remains have offered invaluable insights into the species' biology, behavior, and the environment in which they lived. The steppe bison was a massive animal, measuring up to 8.9 feet, 2.7 meters, tall at the shoulder, and weighing up to 2,200 pounds, 1,000 kilograms. They sported a robust build and long curved horns that could span up to 4 feet, 1.2 meters, across. These impressive horns likely served multiple purposes, including self-defense against predators, such as lions and wolves, as well as tools for foraging and in social interactions among their herds. 
One of the most remarkable discoveries of a frozen yucca bison was made in 2011 in eastern Siberia, near the Yucca River, which inspired the name. This specimen, dubbed the yucca gear bison, was a mummified adult male with its fur, skin, and internal organs remarkably well-preserved. The specimen's age is estimated to be around 9,000 years old, making it one of the most ancient and well-preserved bison specimens ever discovered. The study of the yucca gear bison provided researchers with a wealth of information about the species' diet and health. The analysis of its stomach contents revealed that the bison primarily fed on grasses, sedges, and other plants. Additionally, researchers found evidence of parasites in the bison's liver and intestines, suggesting that even these large, powerful animals were not immune to the challenges of their harsh environment. As with the woolly mammoth, the extinction of the yucca bison was likely driven by a combination of factors, including climate change, habitat loss, and human hunting. As the Earth's climate warmed and the ice sheets retreated, the grasslands that the bison depended on for sustenance gradually disappeared. Meanwhile, humans hunted these animals for their meat, hide, and horns, further contributing to their decline. The discovery of the yucca bison and other frozen specimens from the Ice Age has significantly advanced our understanding of these ancient creatures and the environments they inhabited. These extraordinary finds offer a rare glimpse into the lives of these prehistoric animals and serve as a reminder of the impact that climate change and human activity can have on the survival of species. Number 3. Siberian Cave Lion The Siberian Cave Lion, Panthera spilea, is another fascinating prehistoric animal that has been found frozen in ice. These fearsome predators once roamed the cold regions of Eurasia, from the British Isles to Alaska, during the late Pleistocene epoch, approximately 370,000 to 14,000 years ago. The discovery of their remains, preserved in the permafrost, has offered scientists important information about their biology, behavior, and the environment they inhabited. The Siberian cave lion was a large and powerful carnivore, with some estimates suggesting that they were about 10% larger than modern African lions. Males could reach up to 9.8 feet, 3 meters in length, while females were slightly smaller. These imposing predators were equipped with sharp claws and powerful jaws, enabling them to take down large prey animals such as horses, reindeer, and bison. One of the most remarkable discoveries of a frozen Siberian cave lion was made in 2015 in the Yakutia region of Siberia. The remains consisting of two lion cubs, were so well-preserved that they retained their fur, skin, and even their whiskers. The cubs, named Uyan and Dina, were estimated to be about 30,000 years old and were likely buried by a landslide, which helped to preserve their bodies in the frozen ground. The discovery of Uyan and Dina has provided researchers with valuable insights into the lives of these prehistoric predators. The analysis of the cubs' teeth and bones revealed that they were only about one or two months old when they died, suggesting that they may have been hidden in a den while their mother hunted for food. Furthermore, the study of the cubs' remains has shed light on the lion's coat coloration and markings, which appear to have been similar to those of modern lions. The extinction of the Siberian cave lion is believed to have been caused by a combination of factors, including climate change, habitat loss, and competition with other predators. As the Earth's climate warmed and the ice sheets retreated, the large herbivores that the lions preyed upon became less abundant. Additionally, the lions faced competition from other predators, such as wolves and humans, who also hunted the same prey species. Another factor that may have contributed to the Siberian cave lion's extinction is the decline in available denning sites. As the climate changed and ice sheets receded, the lions may have lost access to suitable den locations, which are crucial for the survival of their young. This, combined with the other challenges they faced, likely led to the eventual disappearance of this magnificent predator. The discovery of frozen Siberian cave lions like Uyan and Dina continues to offer scientists a rare glimpse into the lives of these prehistoric predators. These extraordinary finds not only help to reconstruct the environments in which they lived, but also serve as a reminder of the delicate balance that exists between species and their habitats.
The fate of the Siberian cave lion underscores the importance of understanding and preserving our planet's biodiversity for future generations. Number 4. Woolly Rhinoceros The woolly rhinoceros, Coelodonta antiquitatis, is yet another intriguing prehistoric animal that has been found preserved in ice. These massive herbivores inhabited the cold, harsh environments of Europe and Asia during the Pleistocene epoch, approximately 2.6 million to 10,000 years ago. The discovery of their frozen remains has provided scientists with valuable insights into their biology, behavior, and the environment they inhabited. The woolly rhinoceros was an impressive creature, measuring up to 12.8 feet meters, in length and weighing up to 4,500 pounds 2, kilograms. It was covered in a thick coat of fur, which provided insulation against the cold, and had a hump of fat on its shoulders, which likely served as an energy reserve. The woolly rhinoceros was well adapted to its icy environment, with short, stocky limbs and a wide, flat footpad that helped it traverse the snow-covered terrain. One of the most distinctive features of the woolly rhinoceros was its two large horns, which were made of keratin, the same material found in human hair and nails. The front horn could grow up to 4.9 feet, 1.5 meters in length, while the rear horn was smaller. These horns were used for a variety of purposes, including self-defense against predators, foraging for food, and in social interactions among their herds. Several well-preserved woolly rhinoceros specimens have been discovered in the permafrost of Siberia. One such specimen, nicknamed Sasha, was found in 2014 and is estimated to be approximately 34,000 years old. The discovery of Sasha, a baby woolly rhinoceros, has offered scientists a wealth of information about the species' physical appearance and development. The study of the remains has also revealed that the woolly rhinoceros, like its contemporary, the woolly mammoth, sported a reddish-brown coat of fur. The extinction of the woolly rhinoceros is thought to have been driven by a combination of factors, including climate change, habitat loss, and human hunting. As the Earth's climate warmed and the ice sheets retreated, the vegetation that the woolly rhinoceros depended on for sustenance became less abundant. Additionally, humans hunted these animals for their meat, hide, and horns, further contributing to their decline. The discovery of frozen woolly rhinoceros specimens like Sasha has significantly advanced our understanding of these remarkable creatures and the environments they inhabited. These extraordinary finds not only help to reconstruct the ecosystems of the Pleistocene epoch, but also serve as a stark reminder of the impact that climate change and human activity can have on the survival of species. The fate of the woolly rhinoceros underscores the importance of understanding and preserving our planet's biodiversity for future generations. Number 5. Frozen Ants in Amber While not frozen in ice, frozen ants in amber offer a unique and fascinating look into the prehistoric world of insects. Amber is fossilized tree resin, which sometimes trapped and preserved insects and other small organisms millions of years ago. These ancient insects, including ants, have been found encased in amber, providing a detailed and valuable glimpse into the biology, behavior, and ecological roles of these prehistoric species. Ants are among the most diverse and abundant insects on Earth, with over 13,000 known species. They have played important ecological roles, such as aerating soil, dispersing seeds, and controlling other insect populations. The discovery of ants preserved in amber has significantly advanced our understanding of their evolutionary history, adaptations, and their role in ancient ecosystems. One of the most notable discoveries of ants in amber was made in Myanmar, where researchers unearthed specimens dating back to the Cretaceous period, approximately 99 million years ago. These ants, named Gerontoformica, represent some of the earliest known members of the Formicidae family. The study of these ancient ants has provided valuable insights into the early evolutionary history and diversification of ants and their ecological roles in the Cretaceous period. The examination of ants in amber has also revealed remarkable examples of social behavior, which is a hallmark of modern ants. For instance, some specimens have been found with multiple ants entombed together, suggesting that these prehistoric species lived in colonies and engaged in cooperative behaviors similar to their modern-day descendants. Moreover, 
Some amber-encased ants have been discovered with well-preserved signs of fungal infections, providing evidence of the diseases that afflicted these insects millions of years ago. The preservation of ants in amber has even offered a glimpse into the ancient interactions between ants and plants. Researchers have discovered specimens of ants with specialized mouthparts, adapted for feeding on plant nectar. These findings provide evidence that ants and plants developed mutualistic relationships during the Cretaceous period, with ants providing protection against herbivores in exchange for the nutritious nectar. The discovery of frozen ants in amber has significantly advanced our understanding of the evolution, ecology, and behavior of these fascinating insects. These extraordinary specimens serve as a window into the ancient world, revealing the complexity and diversity of prehistoric ecosystems. The study of ants in amber highlights the importance of preserving and understanding our planet's biodiversity, both past and present, and serves as a testament to the remarkable resilience and adaptability of life on Earth. Number 6. Steppe Bison The steppe bison, Bison priscus, is a notable prehistoric animal, with several specimens found frozen in ice. These large herbivores inhabited the cold grasslands of the Northern Hemisphere during the Pleistocene epoch, approximately 500,000 to 10,000 years ago. The discovery of their frozen remains has offered important information about their biology, behavior, and the environment they inhabited. Steppe bison were impressive creatures, measuring up to 8.9 feet, 2.7 meters, tall at the shoulder and weighing up to 2,200 pounds, 1,000 kilograms. They had a robust build with a massive head and a large hump over their shoulders, which was comprised of strong muscles and fat reserves. Their long curved horns could span up to four feet, 1.2 meters across, serving multiple purposes such as self-defense against predators, foraging, and social interactions within their herds. The discovery of frozen steppe bison has provided valuable insights into their lives and their roles in ancient ecosystems. The study of their remains has revealed that these animals primarily fed on grasses, sedges, and other herbaceous plants that thrived in the cold steppe environments. As the Earth's climate warmed and the ice sheets retreated, the grasslands that the bison depended on for sustenance gradually disappeared. Furthermore, Humans hunted these animals for their meat, hide, and horns, further contributing to their decline. The discovery of frozen steppe bison specimens, like the Yukagir bison, has significantly advanced our understanding of these ancient animals and the environments they inhabited. These extraordinary finds offer a rare glimpse into the lives of these prehistoric creatures and serve as a reminder of the impact that climate change and human activity can have on the survival of species. Number 7. Neanderthal Neanderthals, Homo neanderthalensis, are an extinct species of human closely related to modern humans, Homo sapiens. They lived in Eurasia during the Pleistocene epoch, from approximately 400,000 to 40,000 years ago. While their remains have not been found frozen in ice, they have been discovered in cold environments and caves offering valuable insights into their biology, behavior, and interactions with the environment and other hominin species. Neanderthals were robustly built, with a stocky physique that was well adapted to the cold climates they inhabited. They had a larger cranial capacity than modern humans, which may have been an adaptation to help regulate their body temperature. Neanderthals had distinctive facial features, such as a prominent brow ridge, a broad nose, and a receding chin. These features may have also played a role in conserving heat and retaining moisture in the dry, cold air of their environment. The study of Neanderthal remains has provided valuable information about their diet, which primarily consisted of large herbivores, such as bison, deer, and mammoths. However, evidence also suggests that they consumed a variety of plant foods, including nuts, berries, and tubers. The use of tools and weapons made of stone, wood, and bone allowed Neanderthals to hunt and process their food effectively. Neanderthals were capable of creating and controlling fire, which was essential for cooking, warmth, and protection from predators. They lived in small groups and constructed temporary shelters from wood, animal hides, and other materials. Neanderthals also practiced burial rituals, as evidenced by the discovery of graves containing tools, weapons, and other personal items. 
Interactions between Neanderthals and modern humans have long been a subject of interest among researchers. Genetic evidence suggests that these two species interbred, as traces of Neanderthal DNA are present in the genomes of non-African modern humans. This indicates that the two species coexisted and interacted for thousands of years before the Neanderthals eventually disappeared. The extinction of Neanderthals is believed to have resulted from a combination of factors, including competition with modern humans for resources, climate change, and possibly disease. As modern humans expanded into Neanderthal territories, they may have outcompeted Neanderthals for food and other resources, eventually leading to their decline. Additionally, the rapidly changing climate at the end of the last Ice Age may have further challenged their survival. The study of Neanderthal remains has significantly advanced our understanding of these fascinating hominins and their place in human evolution. These findings not only help to reconstruct the environments and challenges they faced, but also serve as a reminder of the complex and dynamic history of our own species. The fate of the Neanderthals underscores the importance of understanding and preserving the diversity of life on our planet, both past and present. Number 8. Ice Age Horse The Ice Age Horse, Equus ferus, is a prehistoric animal whose remains have been found preserved in ice, providing valuable insights into their biology, behavior, and the environment they inhabited. These wild horses lived in the cold regions of Eurasia and North America during the Pleistocene epoch, approximately 2.6 million to 10,000 years ago. The study of their frozen remains has contributed significantly to our understanding of their adaptation to harsh environments and their role in ancient ecosystems. Ice Age horses were well adapted to the cold climates they inhabited, they had a stocky build with thick, sturdy legs and a broad chest, which allowed them to traverse the challenging terrain with relative ease. Their coat was long and dense, providing insulation against the cold, and their hooves were wide and hard, helping them navigate the icy and snowy ground. These adaptations allowed the Ice Age horse to thrive in the challenging conditions of the Pleistocene epoch. The study of frozen Ice Age horse remains has provided valuable information about their diet and lifestyle. They primarily fed on grasses, sedges, and other herbaceous plants, which were abundant in the cold steppe environments they inhabited. The analysis of their teeth has revealed wear patterns consistent with grazing, and the examination of their gut contents has further confirmed their herbivorous diet. One notable discovery of a frozen Ice Age horse was made in 2018 in the Batagaika Crater in Siberia. The foal, nicknamed the Lena Horse, was estimated to be approximately 42,000 years old and was exceptionally well-preserved. The study of the Lena Horse has offered valuable insights into the physical appearance, growth, and development of these ancient animals. The examination of its coat, skin, and internal organs has provided researchers with a wealth of information about its diet, health, and the challenges it faced in its environment. The extinction of the Ice Age horse is believed to have been driven by a combination of factors, including climate change, habitat loss, and human hunting. As the Earth's climate warmed and the ice sheets retreated, the grasslands that the horses depended on for sustenance gradually disappeared. Furthermore, humans hunted these animals for their meat, hide, and bones, further contributing to their decline. The discovery of frozen Ice Age horse specimens, like the Lena horse, has significantly advanced our understanding of these ancient animals and the environments they inhabited. These extraordinary finds not only help to reconstruct the ecosystems of the Pleistocene epoch, but also serve as a reminder of the impact that climate change and human activity can have on the survival of species. The fate of the Ice Age horse underscores the importance of understanding and preserving our planet's biodiversity for future generations. Number 9. Giant Ground Sloth The giant ground sloth, Megatherium, is an extinct group of prehistoric mammals that inhabited the Americas during the Pleistocene epoch, approximately 2.6 million to 10,000 years ago. While their remains have not been found frozen in ice, they have been discovered in caves and other cold environments, providing valuable insights into their biology, behavior, and the environment they inhabited. 
These enormous herbivores were a prominent part of ancient ecosystems, and the study of their fossils has advanced our understanding of their adaptations to their environments and their role in shaping the landscapes they inhabited. Giant ground sloths were massive creatures, with some species measuring up to 20 feet, 6 meters in length, and weighing up to 4 tons, 3,628 kilograms. They had long, powerful limbs and sharp, curved claws, which were well adapted for digging and stripping leaves from branches. Their robust skeletons supported their enormous size and allowed them to rear up on their hind legs to reach high branches for feeding. These adaptations enabled the giant ground sloth to thrive in a variety of environments, from grasslands to forests. The study of giant ground sloth fossils has provided valuable information about their diet and lifestyle. They primarily fed on leaves, twigs, and other plant material, using their strong jaws and peg-like teeth to process their food. The wear patterns on their teeth and the analysis of preserved gut contents have confirmed their herbivorous diet. These large mammals played an essential role in their ecosystems, shaping the vegetation and serving as prey for large predators, such as saber-toothed cats and dire wolves. Giant ground sloths were also capable of digging large burrows, which had a significant impact on the landscape and provided shelter for other species. These burrows, some of which were more than 6 feet meters, in diameter and up to 130 feet 40 meters in length, offered protection from predators, the elements, and temperature extremes. The construction of these burrows highlights the engineering capabilities of the giant ground sloth and the intricate relationships between species in ancient ecosystems. The extinction of the giant ground sloth is believed to have been driven by a combination of factors, including climate change, habitat loss, and human hunting. As the Earth's climate warmed and the ice sheets retreated, the vegetation that the sloths depended on for sustenance became less abundant. Additionally, humans hunted these animals for their meat, hide, and bones, further contributing to their decline. The study of giant ground sloth fossils has significantly advanced our understanding of these remarkable creatures and the environments they inhabited. These extraordinary finds not only help to reconstruct the ecosystems of the Pleistocene epoch, but also serve as a stark reminder of the impact that climate change and human activity can have on the survival of species. The fate of the giant ground sloth underscores the importance of understanding and preserving our planet's biodiversity for future generations. Number 10. Prehistoric Penguins Prehistoric penguins are a fascinating group of ancient birds that inhabited the Earth during the late Cretaceous period to the present day. While their remains have not been found frozen in ice, they have been discovered in various cold environments, providing valuable insights into their biology, behavior, and adaptation to the Antarctic region. The study of prehistoric penguins has significantly advanced our understanding of the evolution and diversity of these unique marine birds, which have thrived in some of the harshest conditions on Earth. Fossil evidence suggests that the ancestors of modern penguins began to diverge from other birds around 60 million years ago, some of these ancient species, such as Anthropornis and Paleudiptes, were much larger than their modern counterparts, with some reaching up to 5.9 feet (1.8 meters) in height and weighing up to 250 pounds (113 kilograms). These large prehistoric penguins had elongated, sharp beaks, which allowed them to capture and consume a variety of prey, including fish, squid, and crustaceans. The study of prehistoric penguin fossils has provided valuable information about their adaptations to the cold, harsh environments they inhabited. Like modern penguins, these ancient birds had specialized feathers that provided excellent insulation, allowing them to conserve heat and maintain their body temperature in frigid waters. They also had streamlined bodies and powerful flippers, which enabled them to swim efficiently and pursue their prey underwater. One notable discovery of prehistoric penguin fossils was made in 2014 on Seymour Island, off the coast of Antarctica. This site, known as the La Meseta Formation, has yielded numerous well-preserved penguin fossils dating back to the Eocene epoch, approximately 34, 56 million years ago. The study of these fossils has provided valuable insights into the early evolution and diversification of penguins, as well as their adaptation to the changing climate and environment of the Antarctic region. 
The extinction of many prehistoric penguin species is believed to have been driven by a combination of factors, including climate change, competition for resources, and predation by marine mammals. As the Earth's climate cooled and the ice sheets expanded, the habitats and food resources of these ancient birds became increasingly limited. Additionally, the emergence of large marine predators, such as seals and whales, may have further contributed to the decline of these prehistoric penguins. The study of prehistoric penguin fossils has significantly advanced our understanding of these remarkable birds and the environments they inhabited. These extraordinary finds not only help to reconstruct the ecosystems of the past, but also serve as a reminder of the impact that climate change and competition for resources can have on the survival of species. The fate of prehistoric penguins underscores the importance of understanding and preserving our planet's biodiversity for future generations.